In this video, we will learn how to apply log during your 3D modeling. So log is a function that uh, creates a transitional shape among several sketches. So from this final result, you can see here, it's made up of several shapes. On the first is a slot, right about here is a hexagon, and then it ends with a circular feature. With this, you can create a very unique form to your 3D design. Let's open up the part file loft-sketch.ipt. In this exercise, we'll try to apply a proper geometric constraint on these two sketches, sketch 4 and 5. After that, we will create a log using all these sketches. Let's begin. If you notice, the difference between these two sketches comparing to this is actually one is green rather than fully black. The reason for this is the sketch is not fully constrained. So let's check it in. Go into sketch number four, go to the icon and double click. From here, find a ellipse origin right here. And click and hold and drag it around. If you notice, we are able to drag this ellipse about the graphic windows. Therefore, yeah, it's not fully constrained. Undo it. Now, we have to apply a dimensional constraint about this origin, projected origin, to this point. Click on dimensions, click on this, projected origin, and click on the ellipse origin. 10mm, great. Press the escape key or right mouse click to press OK. Now click and drag the ellipse again. If you notice, it's moving around in a radial manner. Let's apply a horizontal constraint. Even though the name is horizontal constraint, always pay attention to the trading line that is being projected. In this case, the trailing line is vertical. Therefore, we can use this horizontal constraint to constrain this point to this point. Let's try it. Click on the origin point of the ellipse and the projected origin point. That's it. The sketch is now fully constrained. Let's repeat the same thing to the last sketch, sketch number five. Go to the icon under the model browser, double click, and let's try applying the horizontal constraint again. Once, second time. Next, apply a dimension. Done, mm. That's it. Finish the sketch. As you notice here, your sketch are all fully constrained. Let's begin the loft. So, to find the loft tool, go on the 3D model tab and the create panel loft just beside the revolve tool. Click on loft. Here, you will be presented with something very similar the join, which is to add material, the cut means to remove material. And last is the intersection. Let's not forget about the new solid for multi-body modeling. We can also output the loft as a solid body or a surface. Under here, we have the section we apply all the sketches, the close profile sketches here. And if there's the need, we apply a ring. Let's click on this section, click to add. Start with the first sketch, sketch number six. 
followed by sketch 3, sketch 4, and sketch 5. Inventor will give you a preview if whether is it is a successful lock. Once you see it's green, press OK. And you have your lock. Take note, lock also works with surfaces rather than just sketches. Let me show you what I mean. Let's delete the loft by pressing the delete key. Under this consume sketches and features, untick it and press OK. This will retain existing sketches here. Let's remove the sketch number six here by hiding. So click on sketch six, right mouse click, and find visibility. Go back again to the loft tool. And now begin by selecting the surface. Zoom in slightly and click the close profile. If you notice, no sketch, just a close look from a surface. Next, just carry on with the different sketches and done.